The healthier and more educated a country is, the more likely it is to have a robust economy. It is on this premise that the Nigeria Development and Finance Forum brought together government officials, private sector leaders, the diplomatic community and social sector actors in this conference aimed at finding a path to sustainable growth through health and social welfare transformation. Minister of Health Ali Pate says unlocking the health value chain is key. And healthier individuals are in turn more incentivized to pursue education and to save for retirement. And healthier populations are more impressive attractors of foreign drug investment because foreign drug investment is unlikely to go into a population that is unhealthy. The conference submits that policy makers need to champion the cause of sustainable health and prioritizing investments in health infrastructure. There are critical reforms that um, we are seeing many more are required. And we also believe very strongly that there is a need to get citizens to believe once again that Nigeria will rise. From the regulatory agencies to the banking industry to customs, if we don't look at this holistically, we'll be deceiving ourselves. Panel discussion centered around how policies can catalyze job creation and shared prosperity and on revitalizing industries and markets and harnessing Nigeria's blue and green economies.